Shalom, I can give no praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Rakakwadash, double honesty, the apostles, elders, great millstone, salutations, once again, to sincere out there with the hopeful elect, right? Y'all was checking out the Breakfast Club interview, man. The elder brother Karab sent me a um sent me a small clip of it, but I had seen it already, you know, with uh Mayor Eric Adams, the mayor of New York City, basically being put on a hot seat at the Breakfast Club show with Charlemagne DJ Envy, you know. <clears throat> um, I don't agree with none of his policies. You know, he's basically a sellout, you know, boot licking nigga for the so called white man, namely these small hats, all right? But nonetheless, you know, when you have somebody like the mayor of your city uh, come to your show, you know, to direct the interview with him, you got you to gotta show some uh, type of respect for him, all right? Not saying that Charlemagne and Envy didn't show respect for him, but they had another guest, a woman who was, um, who was a public defender for the city of New York named Olayami Oloran, all right? So-called black woman. OK, and, you know, throughout the whole interview with Mayor Eric Adams, this black woman was basically set up there to uh, politically crucify him on that show, man. And she did it with a level of such disrespect, even though she made good points. But you can see it all in her face and her attitude and the way she conducted herself, man. You know, try to make it come off somewhat like try to make it come off professionally. But you could, if you look in her spirit, you can see the disdainment that she has. For a so-called black man that's in a position of power, all right, and um, and you know, throughout that whole interview, like I said, she made good points. Eric Adams was put on a hot seat, you know, uh, you know, he really could. I don't, uh, he really couldn't defend himself well. They came with facts and this, that, and the third, but it's not a woman's place to um to usurp authority over a man, or to uh, you know, or or, or to even you know be set up to embarrass a man so to speak you know all right but see dj envy and Charlemagne, they some unlearned niggas man they just a bunch of buffoons you know they're not knowledgeable when it comes to politics they're not knowledgeable uh when it comes to you know anything uh intellectual they just some hip-hop niggas all right <clears throat> who gotta who, who basically you know ride the jock of the so-called white man the small hats they're zionist handlers at these radio stations and um and you know and, and and you know they just set up in that fuck position to appeal to the urban youth in new york you know that's basically what they about a bunch of fucking clowns <clears throat> all right now like i said i don't agree with mayor eric adams his policies or nothing like that you know <clears throat> you know i don't give a fuck about none of them because they ain't none of them men of the lord at the end of the day but um, but it goes to show you how out of order our people are and how the black woman has zero respect for the so-called black man. All right. When you check out that interview. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, you know, I'm going to bring out uh, some scriptures. This is the book of Micah, chapter seven, verse 10. It says, then she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy power? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets, all right? Yeah, man, because the so-called black woman is the enemy, believe it or not, man. You know, it's, 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 it's no gray areas when it comes to uh, believing in the Lord, right? You know, either you on the side of the Lord, in which the Lord deals with men, right? The prophets, starting with the apostles of Great Millstone, you know, the bishops, the elders, all you brothers out there that's teaching this word that really believe in Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah, all right? And most of us are poor, are, are poor, folks right the servants of the lord are not going to be um necessarily have riches and you know fame and glory you know on this side you know we're basically poor common folk work go to work you know struggling on bills basically like a, a one week's check away from being homeless so to speak man for the most part you know just like the typical american all right <clears throat> But what separates us is the simple fact that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is dealing with us, man. We are familiar with these scriptures. We got the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Bible, the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? So if you don't if if, if if you don't acknowledge us, I'm talking about you women. If you don't acknowledge us as your uh, as your ticket to salvation, you know, then guess what? 
then the Lord is going to destroy you. Simple as that. And you're the enemy. Okay? You're the enemy. Like I said, there's no gray areas. Either you're with the men of the Lord, right? Either you're with Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah, or you're with the opposition, which is the devil, the so-called white man. Okay? <clears throat> Let me read that again. It says, then she that is my enemy shall see it. That's right. All of these broads out there, man, you know, they, they, a lot of them, they, they got daddy issues. You know, they grew up, you know, like the typical Israelite in a single parent household, you know, mostly raised up by their mothers, whether they were like playing that BFF role with their mothers. You know, you got some mothers and daughter relationships where they just cool with each other. All right. They see how their mothers act, react towards black men, putting black men down, you know. So this is some shit that they inherited, man. So they brought with a level of disrespect towards uh, black other black men, all right? And you can see that shit in that, uh, in that, in that chick. What's her name again, man? She got a, a name that's kind of hard to pronounce. Olaymi, Olaymi, Olay, Olay, Olay all right? You can see that, you know, you can see that, that attitude that she had in that interview, man, where she basically, um, she put, like I said, she pointed out some good facts, but she's basically disrespecting Eric Adams, man. And Eric Adams is the mayor of New York, you know? He's the mayor of the city, okay? But that's some shit that most, that most black women uh, have uh, some type of, uh, some type of hatred for the so-called black man, for their brothers, man, you know? We see that all the time, man, from these fucking ghetto-ass whores out here, you know, to these super proud high and mighty bitches in the professional world man you know whether they be a lawyer whether they be doctors all of that shit man you know these the black woman is uplifted with pride and that's why she's become our enemy man because she literally thinks that she's better than us okay you see what you women gonna realize you're gonna come to realize that the lord is dealing with men he ain't dealing with women man you know so yes you are you black women you are the enemy all right because like i said man there's no in-betweens there's no gray areas when it comes to serving the lord man all right and first and foremost, the Lord is dealing with men. You know, so any of them deaconesses and them, you know, them female pastors and all that shit in the churches, you know, you women that's on a, sitting on your high horse because the so-called white man allows it, you about to be knocked off that fucking pedestal real soon, man. Okay? All right? It says, And shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. That's right, because shit is about to get ugly in, in America, man. Shit is about to get ugly in America, you know? So a lot of you women that, you know, that, that are basically at ease and, you know, used to living your everyday to day life, a lot of you broads, man, are going to be in for some shit. For, you're going to get some, a, a, a real shock value real soon, man, once shit changes in America, man. And it's going to change in an instant, man. Okay, you know, gradually things are starting to change. But when, but, but once shit really hits the fan, that's when you bitches gonna come to the realization that you need a man, that you're gonna need a man. All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter thirty-two, verse two. It says, "And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, in a cove, in a cover from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land." That's right. A man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. You know, what does high winds bring to a place? High winds are very destructive, man. You know, you got tornadoes, you got hurricanes, you know, that leaves a devastating effect in whichever way it travels, man. All right. Uh, fucking rooting trees up out of the ground, uh, straight up demolishing houses and such, you know, you know, pop, uh, breaking ele electrical lines, snapping power lines and shit. Causing blackouts, causing massive destruction. That's what a wind, that's what strong winds do. Okay? All right? The scriptures say a man shall be a hiding place from the wind, not a woman. Okay? You know, you got these tough dyke broads out there running around thinking that they fucking men, you know? When all hell breaks loose and anarchy is set in society and martial law is basically um, set in society, all you tough bitches, you so called tough bitches, you broads that's running around, Thinking that you a goddamn man, thinking that you got a balls, pair of balls between your legs. Guess what? Y'all bitches is gonna be in some shit, man. Y'all gonna be the, some of the first women to die, actually, man. Okay? Cause not a real man is gonna wanna deal with no goddamn dyke, man. That's a fact. Alright? You know? But you proud bitches, man. You proud bitches that got got, you know, you got these degrees and this, that, and the third. 
you know that you know you think like I said you think you're better than a black man you're gonna see that that goddamn piece of paper all right that you done took out all them student loans for that got you in debt to this day you know and the only thing you got to show for yourself for it is fucking pride that shit ain't gonna be able to hold you down you're gonna need a man at the end of the day all right you're gonna need a man at the end of the day like you had Eric Adams sitting there talking about how he changed things around in the city you know because of course he inherited a pandemic you know this, that, and the third, businesses leaving New York City, okay, and, uh, you know, the recidivism rate of of felons getting locked up and released right back on the street, basically, he inherited a whole lot of fucking chaos, man, you know, a whole lot of chaos, anarchy or whatever you want to call it, man, lawlessness, the BLM thing going on, all, all kind of shit, man, you know, uh, Black Lives Matter and defund the police and all that shit, to, to the point where the police basically stood back. They fell back from uh, so-called fighting crime and making arrests and this, that, and the third. You know? Yeah, Eric Adams inherited all that shit. You got the migrants that have been bust into New York City by the masses. And, you know, and there's nowhere to house them. You know? And you had that 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 uh, that uh lady, that chick, call her a lady. She a goddamn bitch, man. I'm just going to keep it 100. All right? Uh, Olea Mia Lauren... Uh, point out all those things, you know, about, you know, Durham Mayor Eric Adams' watch, you know, how, um, you know, how the city basically is all fucked up, okay, all right, but yeah, he inherited all of this shit, man, okay, but like I said, man, she got him on a hot seat defending himself, and, you know, and, he, and Eric Adams is a fucked up dude, he's a fucked up dude, former gang member, and this, that, and the third, was a part of the NYPD, and, and what have you, you know, and you know, he, 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 he's, uh, he's basically a piece of shit, man. You know, he's basically a piece of shit. Okay. That which you, that's what you have to be in order to be, become a politician in this, in this society, you know, <clears throat> but nonetheless, you know, he's still the king of New York, so to speak, you know, cause he's the mayor, you know, if anything, if anyone should have respect for that, all right, it should be a woman, you know, and, you know, any issues that the people have with the mayor, it should be a man addressing those issues to the mayor. All right. Which that was DJ Envy and Charlemagne's job to basically present those questions and, you know, and point out these facts, you know, to, to, uh, to put the pressure on Eric Adams, not the fucking black woman with her goddamn weave in her head, man, talking shit uplifted with pride. All right. That's why the most house going to destroy you, 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 these, a lot of these black bitches, man, for real. All right. It says, and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind in a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Yeah, so at the end of the day, you women are going to need a man to be in your corner for your um for your survival. All right. I'm going to jump down to verse nine. It says, rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give air unto my speech. All right. Yeah, and these women, like I said, man, you know, they, they're all at ease. They're uplifted with pride. You know, you know, right now you can, in, in America, you can go any fucking where and, um, and food is available unto you, you know. So these women out here, they don't know what it is, what it's really like to fucking suffer like some of these people out there in them third world countries, man. In them foreign countries out there in Africa, out there in the, in the, in the Arab world, out there in the East, you know, they don't know, you know, out in Central America, in the Caribbean and such, you know. All right, a lot of motherfuckers come over here and they get Americanized, man. And people in America are careless and they're spoiled, man. You know, you got a McDonald's here, Chick Fil A over there, Wendy's down the block, pizza, all kind of food eateries, man. Food establishments and shit all over the place here in America, man. So, so the people are careless, man. You know, and especially you goddamn women, you got it at ease because this society caters to you hoes, man. Because the so-called white man is a fucking devil. All right, he's the goddamn devil, man. You know this. this this society, America, Babylon the Great, uh, views men, I'm talking about real man, a real man, you know, who carries himself like a man, who wears his bed, conducts himself like a man, you know, speaks, you know, uh, uh, speaks with confidence like a man, you know, they, they consider that male toxicity, man. That's toxic behavior in this in, in, in this society, and that's the so-called white man spreading that bullshit, man. 
you know? And that's why there's such a great divide against uh, between men and women in this society, man, especially the black man and the black woman, so-called black man and so-called black woman, all right? But the Lord said, rise up, ye women that are ease, hear my voice, ye careless daughters, give air unto my speech. And these women, they don't want to hear what the Lord got to say because the, the, the nigga woman, all right, she's uplifted with pride and she ain't shit, man. She ain't shit. She has zero respect for the black man, you know? And we sit out there and we tell you that the, the, the God of the universe, the God of the Bible, the God of the heaven and earth is a so-called black man. You think the black woman is trying to hear that? You know? You think the black woman is trying to hear that? We tell them that Yahweh Shah, who the world even really calls Jesus Christ, is a so-called black man. You know? But see, these bitches got daddy issues. So they'll look at Yahweh Shah with disdainment and hate. You know, because he's a so-called black man and these women basically what they inherited from, you know, from their mothers, from their grandmothers, great grandmothers. They were taught basically to hate their own people, man, the men of their nation. All right. So they're not going to listen to the men of the Lord. But it says many days and years shall you be troubled. You careless woman for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. That's right, man. You see, hey, and, I, and I work a job where I, where I work with women on the job. Sometimes, you know, and guess what? Out of people, out of all the people that be on the job, what gender do you think fucking be crying the most, man? You know, complaining the most about work. The goddamn woman. Okay. But that's, but that's what women's liberation was supposed to be about, right? Allowing women to be equal with men and they could work side by side with men and hold down jobs with men, you know? But it's you fucking black bitches that... Not just you black women, all, all the women, all you women, not just the black woman, the Latina woman, the so-called white woman that works along with men. Yo, they all fucking complain and they cry and they bitch, man. All day at fucking work, man. You know? Okay? And then, then you got jobs where work just becomes a goddamn freak fest, man. You know? You got well, men and women that's supposed to be on the job. You got a woman that got a man at home, but she got a, what they call it, a, a my work husband, a work hub, hubby, some shit like that. Where you got these fucking broads uh, on, on a job screwing the goddamn, the, uh, s s screwing motherfuckers that they work with, man. You know, knowing you got a damn husband and a family at home. You know, they might be screwing a supervisor. You know, they might be screwing one of their, their, their a regular co-worker. You know, so this, this shit is madness, man. This shit is pure madness. You know, but the days are coming where you're going to be troubled, Right. Talking about when all hell breaks loose in the society, anarchy, man. Okay, all right. When um, when everything is gonna be for the taking, including that goddamn box. Okay, including that goddamn black box between you fucking bitches' legs, man. You know, a lot of women gonna be getting raped. If you ain't got a real man to hold you down, then guess what? You 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 you, you basically you gonna be fooled, man. You gonna be fooled out there for these goddamn carnivorous predators, man, that's going to be roaming the streets of America, and they're going to be roaming around in clans, okay, so a lot of you bitches going to get gang raped, man, it's going to get real ugly, it's going to get real ugly, that's why I say many days and years shall you be troubled, you careless woman, for the vintage shall fail, you all the good shit that you got going on in America, shopping sprees and getting in clubs for free and partying around and screwing whoever you want to screw, and you know, because it's up to you, you have the choice to, all right, all of that shit is gonna fail. All of that shit is gonna come to a halt, to an end, a complete stop. All right, it says the gathering shall not come. Yeah, that's right, man. You know, oh, oh, every, every, everything that you women got in this society, this society gives you and how it caters to you, right? Everything that's offered to you, child support, fucking alimony, right? All, all this shit, you know, get, getting more, you know, half or whatever from from your husbands when you divorce them. All of that shit ain't going to come no more. It's going to come to a complete stop. Welfare, all of that shit. It's going to come to a fucking end, man. All right? This is the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 10, verse 20. It says, curse not the king. All right? Yeah, curse not the king. And the reason why I bought this scripture out is because of the way that that broad Olaimi, right? Olaimi was, uh, was coming against Eric Adams. You know? Eric Adams... Being the mayor of New York, he is the king of the city. He's like the king of the city, you know? He has an army at his command, which is the NYPD, all right? So he's technically, he, he can be a, a king of a small uh, municipality, all right? And the scriptures say, curse not the king, 
No, not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. That's right, man, because people, powerful people that got money or people that are set up in a position of power, they can do you harm, man. They can do you harm at the end of the day. They have the means and the manpower to do so. All right? That's why the scriptures say, curse not the king. Okay? It says, for a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which has wings shall tell the matter. You know? Yeah, because sometimes when you're doing things secretly, especially when it comes to a righteous king, right? Like King Solomon, you know? He's the one who wrote the book of Ecclesiastes. If anybody had anything uh, say under their breath to King Solomon, you know, the, the spirit will have it where it'll get back to King Solomon, man. You know? All right? But the whole point of the matter is, you know, the way, the way that bitch came up against Eric Adams was kind of, I ain't gonna say it was kind of fucked up. It was fucked up. It was distasteful, man. You know? It was distasteful. Mayor Eric Adams is the king of New York City. Like, with a, like whatever mayor you got that's of any of these different cities, localities, municipalities, all throughout America, the mayor is actually the king of that locality, man. You know? Okay? So, I mean, they are entitled to some level of respect. You might not have, agree with their views and their political views and such, you know, but when you are, uh, you know, but when you conduct them with them, especially when it's supposed to be a professional interview, you got to show some kind of fucking respect, you know? All right. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 10, verse 1. It says, A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. That's right. A wise judge, like King Solomon was, you know, will instruct his people and will have a great kingdom, a successful kingdom, you know, and will continue to progress. All right. It says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. That's right, man. And you see how the so-called white man is basically running shit in America because he's he, he's the one, you know, set up a judicial system and such. All right. And most of them are all homosexuals, man. They're all homosexuals. And that's why here in America, they promote gay liberation, gay pride, gay marriages, you know, uh, gay, gay people can adopt children, all kind of shit, man, and, and push a gay agenda on the next generation, on the youth, okay, and things are all fucked up, it says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, you know, and uh, Mayor Eric Adams, he's the judge, he's basically the mayor of New York City, you know, like I said, because he, he has, um, he has the NYPD at his disposal, you know, and so that's why it says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, you know. Uh, you, you know, these pol the, the police officers are what? They're basically supposed to do the, the, the bidding of the judge, the chief, you know, of, 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 of the justice system, so to speak. You know, you know where judges administer law and such, you know. But everything is all fucked up, man, in this wicked society, you know. It says, in what manner? Of man, the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. That's right. Eric Adams is a piece of shit. That's why New York, you can't expect New York City to uh to really excel or progress, right? Or or, or get or achieve some great level of glory, man. You know, when you got New York City's been corrupt since Tammany Hall, man. You can look up Tammany Hall, all you New Yorkers, you brothers that live in New York City, and you'll see the corrupt politics of New York City, man. All right. Not one. It's not going to be one black man that's going to come and change the fucking game, man, the way things operate in the city. OK, so Eric Adams is a piece of shit, just like every other mayor before him. But at the end of the day, it ain't right for a woman to be sitting there uh, putting him on a hot seat and disrespecting him. And DJ Envy, you know, that fucking high yellow punk nigga in Charlemagne, you know, they was dead wrong. They basically set that nigga up, man. You know, check out that interview, that Breakfast Club interview that I'm talking about, man. And guess what? The Most High is going to judge them for that. Not not for shitting on Mayor Eric Adams, but for all the other wicked shit that they've done. You know? You know, niggas is a bunch of goddamn snakes, man. And that black bitch going to burn with her weave, man. Okay? It's going to get real out here. It's going to get real out here. So you sisters better listen up, man. You know? And I ain't talking about you sisters that's trying to do the right thing. You know that, of course. You know? You sisters that believe... And your Yahweh and Yahweh Shai doing right by your man. I'm not talking, this ain't directed towards you, all right? But the majority of our women, man, the majority of our women are fucked up, man. And they're going to suffer gravely when the time comes. So I'm going to end this video on that note. Say Shalom. I'll be rocking to you brothers out there, man. Lord willing, I'll see you in the next one. Shalom.